I might just start, John. You bought in, um, just a bit of sort of housekeeping, you bought in uh, James Botham and Johnny McNichol. James Botham might be in a shock for a few. What have, what have you seen in him and why has he been brought in? Um, we, we identified him um, in, in the Derby games, uh, before that, but most memorably in the Derby games. We thought um, athletically he, he certainly has the, the ability to complete, uh, compete in international rugby. And, you know, in, in those games, he had some, some, some big moments. So it is, it is that point we probably, you know, really identified him as someone going forward to 2023 that would, um, that would certainly be in our plans. And um, with injuries that we have at the moment and the uncertainty over some people being able to, to, to start on the weekend, um, it was a great opportunity to bring him in. Just on those, obviously, Josh Navidi and Ross Moriarty haven't figured for you yet this autumn. How are they? And are they fit for the weekend, please? Uh, like, we're, we're monitoring them. It's, um, it's literally um, a day-by-day process with them. Um, but, you know, th- their injury has also, you know, helped us um, look at other people. And again, you know, when we're, when we're, we're seriously talking about 2023, it's great. You know, perhaps Shane wouldn't have had that opportunity he's had uh, in, uh, in, in this campaign. So it's been great to have a look at him. It's been great to have a look at, um, at James. So, you know, I, I, you know we, we do miss them in terms of their personality and the physicality in the game. But it also gives us that, uh, that opportunity to look at these two. Uh, and just a quick one. Jonathan Davis obviously came off with an ankle or knee injury or leg injury. How is he? Is he still available for the rest of the autumn? Uh, he's in the process of having scans for that. So probably in the next 24 hours, we'll, uh, we'll identify you. You know how serious that knee injury is, but he he seems to be up walking about. Um, he, he seems in a good place. Yeah, a bit of a blow for him, given he's just come back from another knee injury. Yeah, yeah, I know. Is uh, he was he was keen to get uh, a string of games under his belt, but um, like you know, hopefully it's not too serious, and uh, and and he'll be back pretty quick. John, how would you assess the forwards during this campaign so far? Is it fair to say it hasn't gone all according to plan? Yeah, I think it's. You know, it's 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 frustrating in the um, in the inconsistencies in our first half, especially. Um, and then, but the positive for me is that second half um, we haven't gone into our shell, and our execution is, has been, you know, a lot better than it was in the first. But you know, especially against Ireland, where it really stopped us getting the field position uh, and the momentum in that first half. So it's uh, you know particularly frustrating, especially when. You know, when we execute the way we do, um, it looks pretty good. What are you looking for improvements from this weekend against Georgia Pack, who are regarded perhaps as one of the finest packs in the world? Um, it's the consistency for, for us, especially with uh, our line of attack. When we get ourselves in, 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 um, into positions where we can actually um, go forward, we need to execute under pressure. And with um, some of the inexperience that we have, at the present, it's, you know, it's, it's going to happen. And, but, you know, going forward with people like Reese Carey, Ryan Elias, these experiences for them are invaluable. And them finding the solutions is invaluable. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's the consistency of our execution. You will have been in Wales camp as a player, John. Six straight defeats. What is the mood like there? And how much is this a must-win game on Saturday? Um... Our mood is is, is pretty good. Um, obviously, the boys are are down in terms of um, the outcome of these games. But as as a buoyancy, um, it's it, it's it's always tough times. But as we see the bigger picture of where we need to go, and within that, there was always going to be sort of blips. There's always going to be downs. And um, as long as we're concentrating on where we need to go to with the players that we need to get there. Um, is, is always that, that belief that, uh, that we will get there. Uh, a final one for me, John. Uh, there's quite a few players in your squad now. You're obviously named 38. There's a couple come in. Um, will any, any go to the regions this weekend just because um, in terms of getting match practice or are they all going to be staying with you, do you think? Um, we're, we're restricted a little bit in terms of, of the bubble. Um, but that where there's opportunities for people to get out and play, we're certainly going to explore that. And, um, and there's, there are some players who need some game time. Um, you know, with the, the seven-month uh, lockdown, a lot of players uh, a little bit undercooked and they're keen to get out and play. So, where possible, uh, we'll try and do that.
Thank you, John. Good luck Saturday. Thanks very much, mate. Hey, John. Beth from ITV. You're right. Hi. How are you? Hey, yeah. Just a, just one question for me, really. Obviously, we've talked about the on pitch stuff and the change of guard with Wayne coming in, but just want to know more about how it's changed off the pitch in terms of the culture. And I appreciate that. Obviously, you may not know the befores and afters, but you know, can you explain what that kind of what your culture is and what where your values and beliefs are? Yeah. Um, just you know, I'm. I was never in the camp before that, so I couldn't. I can't really compare to uh, to what it is um, at, that, at that point. Where you know where we're 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 going now is that um, in terms of day to day, we need to understand what we want as coaches, what we need to get across. Um, but the, the culture within it is very very strong. Um, there's people in that who, who drive it hard. Um, and we're we just trying hard to, to stay focused on the fact of 2023 is a massive thing for us. And there's young kids coming into this camp who need to understand what it takes to play for Wales and, and the, the pressures that come with playing for Wales. But how do we switch off? How do we relax? And, and that's the, the, the balance that we have right now. Do you think some of the players are struggling with the change of culture? Um, I, I don't think so. Not in the way they are around the camp. There's still a lot of buoyancy. And again, you know, we've had maybe seven games together. So it's still a, a, a huge amount of learning for all of us to, to go through. But, you know, as, as, as a group of coaches, we, 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 we know where we want to get to. We know what it's going to take. And we're trying to fast forward some experience with some of the younger players that we've identified. And um, there's no fast forward button that we can have for that. So, and, and in these times, um, also, I know it's hard to say, but they're, they're some of the most enjoyable times because we're, we're trying to find a way out um, and we're trying to find the clarity in order for these players to understand that, to go forward. And, uh, and we feel we're doing that. Just, sorry, very, very, that is the last question on, on that note. As you, is it coming from, you know, with Wayne as well, coming from that club environment, is there anything as coaches you've had to swap around in terms of what you feel works better and doesn't? Um, the, the, because this is probably my sixth year of, of international rugby. So I had, you know some uh, some experience coming into it and um, going from cl coach environment to, into international time constraints are always massive here you know? and um, it's about identifying what's important um, and then training those areas you feel are important um, so no I think it's, it's, it's been good I think um, the way we're working together is very very positive so yeah good. cheers thank you thanks